I want you to picture having a vase um, like this and having dirt in the bottom of the vase. And then you take a hose and you put the hose in the vase and you keep pouring water in until there's no trace of dirt left. That is actually what happened in her body is the Holy Spirit was being poured into her so deeply until there wasn't a granule of sand of that Lyme's disease left. And in 10 or 15 minutes, she was actually once and for all permanently healed of that disease. It was extraordinary. It was, it was, and, and the cool thing, this is the way it is with all miracles. They're all easy because we don't do them. You know, if we could just take that approach, you know, for many of you, your breakthrough will begin the moment you stop being impressed with the size of your problem. Disease, we owe no disease reverence. We owe no demon respect. None. And uh, I shared that, that testimony here on the Sunday following. We had a friend from Nashville that was uh, visiting us for the weekend. And um, when I shared, she stood up in proxy for three friends of hers, two daughters and a mother uh, in her hometown that suffered with that disease. The children were very, uh, very difficult for them to move. They were crippled not only with the Lyme's disease, but with juvenile arthritis. And she stood right here, held the phone out, called her friends, and we prayed together. Others were standing. We just prayed corporately for that disease to be healed in the same fashion that Eric has been using and just reading stories and having people stand and then sending a text. So she did this. And I have seen the video now of the woman, I told you about 38 years, running around her swimming pool. Her family's out there saying, this is crazy. This is crazy. Because she's able to do things that were just impossible. And so since then, we've also gotten a video now of these girls who the next morning are doing jumping jacks with the mother, healed of Lyme's disease and juvenile arthritis. The mother was healed as well. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, before I get into the message, we're just gonna go for this right off the beginning here. So if you have or know of anyone who has uh, Lyme's disease, I want you to stand. Uh, where I tell you, there's a greater anointing for standing in proxy. I've never seen as great a breakthrough. We've seen it. Eric started this a couple years ago. It's been dramatically increasing um, with this uh, autism and dyspraxia and, and uh, bipolar, uh, epilepsy, uh, crazy stuff happening long distance because somebody stood in faith representing them. And so we're, I, I just want us to go for it. So, but we're also going to join in prayer together right now for anyone in the room who has cancer. I want you to stand. This is a cancer-free zone. You might as well get in on it. Anyone who has cancer, just stand up. All right. I want to throw in one more thing. I'm going to throw in two more things. There's a number of people here that have very dangerous, serious digestive issues. I don't know if it's Crohn's disease, I don't know uh, uh, what it is, but it's, it's uh, IBS could be any number of things, I don't know what it is, but it's very, very serious. In other words, it's not just the flu you picked up last week, it's, it's very, uh, your digestive system is seriously compromised. And in fact, it feels like there's somebody here that has maybe a polyp or something that is growing. It's not a cancerous thing for you. You know that, but, it's, but there's something there that has seriously affected your digestive system. I want you to stand if that's you. Stand, stand right now. Who, who's, all right, right over here. All right, some more. All right. Last thing is I know that there are also people here that have a terminal disease besides uh, cancer, terminal disease and you need a miracle. And uh, I, I feel like we're supposed to put at the top of our list life-threatening terminal diseases. I feel like we're supposed to pick up stones and run at Goliath. 
run at the things that try to intimidate us because we carry the word of the Lord. Jesus has accomplished this triumph already. So if you have any kind of a terminal disease, I want you to stand. All right. Now, all of you that are standing, just put a hand up till somebody comes to you. All of you that are sitting, get as close to somebody as you can. Find out what it is and just begin to pray. Just begin to declare over them. No long conversation, just give them a target. Those who are watching online, join in on this one. Not only in prayer for these, but for yourselves. Anything that's close to anything that was called out, please put your hand on that part of your body. And we declare the healing grace of Jesus. The Lord Jesus heals you. The Lord Jesus heals you. This is your night. This is your night. 